Well, fresh, uh, locally grown peppers are pouring into farmers markets right now. Always delicious in a salad. There are also plenty of other tasty ways to enjoy their goodness. Sauce Annalisa creator Chef Lisa O'Connell here to serve up stuffed peppers with a twist. This is one of my very faves. Even at my age, my mom sends me back with these. She freezes them and I bring them and I take them out as I want as I, I, I need to use them. Isn't that great? That, so yes. what are you doing here today? You have a lot of different ways okay. to use these. Yes, we've stuffed peppers in every which way, shape and form. Um, first and foremost, I just wanted to share with you the best way to cut them. Okay. I mean, obviously peppers are great in a salad or, you know, just chopped as a snack. But um, if you're going to stuff your peppers, you can either slice them in half just like this. And then if you can get a shot, of, there you yeah. go. Yep. And then you just remove the ribbing um, and rinse them clean. Otherwise, you can remove the top, depending on how you want to stuff them. Like we have a spinach dip over there, a spinach and artichoke dip that this would be a really great sort of bowl for. So if you just remove the top, um, clean out the ribbing and then go ahead. And Do you blanch them in hot dish. water? No, you don't need to. You don't need I to. mean, you can, yeah. and it will make them a little more tender. But honestly, we're cooking, we're baking these for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on what's in so them. So they soften that way. They soften okay. really well. A, a, great, a great thing to do, though, is to douse them with a nice uh, portion of olive oil and some salt. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to go ahead and put together one of my favorites here. Actually, my husband's favorite. This is just some ground sausage that we have with some crushed peppers, Italian sausage. We just add some cooked rice to that. We've also got some um, zucchini and some sweet potato. You can use any vegetables you have on hand, whatever you like. Um, I've got some, of course, some chopped peppers here, onions and garlic. And again, use what you have in your fridge, use what you have left over. Sure. That's the beauty of the stuffed peppers, is you can kind of do like remakes um, in no time at all. And then of course, we've got to add a red sauce to this. I love my own sauce, Annalisa. Yeah. But um, use your favorite kind. We just go ahead and mix that all together. What's nice about this is a little makes a lot. So we've got, you know, a handful of ingredients here. All the recipes are online, but you'll get a really bulky um, amount of product when you're done. So once that's all combined, yep. there we're we just go. gonna go ahead just and Just fill start. it up. Yeah, just fill it up and okay. you can, Again, use any vegetables um, or leftover starches that you might have on hand. Repurpose those leftover grilled burgers that you have. So did they, do, originally were they just, they were a leftover way to use leftovers? Yeah, a, really, yeah. a great, I mean, ground meat a all. great way to use leftovers. Let's do Check a taste tour of the variations that you have of this, because they're really, I think, super creative. What have you done here? Uh, this is so fun, so kid friendly. This is your traditional spaghetti, tossed pasta with some red sauce, topped with a little bit of mozzarella cheese and some mm. Parmesan cheese. Pop it in your oven for 25, 30 minutes. Bake it and it comes out perfect and delicious. Love that. What have you done here? Oh, now Pat, you're gonna love that one. That one is a spinach and artichoke dip with extra garlic. Mm. Just has a couple of different kinds of cheese in it. And again, you're just combining all those ingredients, stirring them up, and stuffing them in your peppers. And over here? Oh, Rena, this one's just for you. <laughs> uh, just rice, <laughs> rice, beans, some cilantro, garlic, and corn. Of course, again, you can switch it up any way you wish, but a nice vegetarian version of that. And then we have what we're doing over here, which is the traditional, you know, rice and uh, protein and vegetables mixed in. Uh, I love how this turns out. This is such a simple thing. so good thing. over here, by Thank the you. way. Amazing. Does it? And I was telling her we made her watermelon salsa from the last time she was on. Loved it. I didn't give it quite enough spice or whatever touch of love that she puts in her recipes, yeah. but it was really quite delicious. Good. The thing is that that's a good reminder. You can go online to care11.com, look yeah. into the 4 p.m. show page, and that recipe will be there for the salsa, as well as these today, awesome. as always. Beautiful. Take a look, a look at care11.com under the 4 p.m. show page, everybody. Thank you. Love your outfit, by the way. I love your you outfit. You have the same yeah. color on. We you matched. We matched. Did. It was so nice to <laughs> have you, you guys No, we didn't do it. I was going to. No, we didn't do it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you back here at 5 o'clock. I was going to, honestly, I was going to honestly, I have thought about calling you before, but <laughs> not really.